video we are going to solve a problem on finding the transfer function of an electrical network. This is the circuit diagram and the electrical network for which we have to find the transfer function. In the definition of the transfer function, we have to assume that all the initial conditions are zero. Here we are assuming that there is no external load in the circuit. If there is no external load, then this current I, it will be equals to I1 plus I2. At this I1, it is the current across the resistance R. So it will be given by The voltage drop across the resistance R is V0 T. So the value of I1 will be V0 T by R. Now the value of the current I2 will be, it is the current across the capacitor C. So the voltage across the capacitor is V0 T. So I2 will be given by C dv not T by dt. Now next apply the KVL in this loop. So we will get VIT will be equals to L di by dt because I is the current flowing across the inductor. So it will be equals to L dit by dt. Plus we have the resistance. So the Voltage across the resistance will be R I1 T because the current across the resistance is I1. Now this is number it as first equation. Now if we apply KVL in this second loop and then we will get the value of V0 T will be this V0 T is the voltage across the capacitor. So V0 T will be equals to 1 upon C. The current across the capacitor is I2. So I2 T dt. Number it as second equation. And from this we have that the voltage across the resistance is V0 T. So another value of V0 T is R I1 T. Number it as third equation. So we have these three equations and from these three equations we have to find out the ratio of the output voltage and the input voltage. So let's get the ratio.
First, we will have to find out the Laplace transform of those three equations. So, we have obtained the three equations as this. So, let's write the Laplace transform of these three equations. The Laplace transform of first equation will be equation was vit equals to l dit by dt so the laplace transform of this dit by dt will be s is so s l is plus r laplace transform of i1 t will be i1 s then Laplace transform of second equation will be V naught S will be equal to I two S and integration was there. So we have S and then we have one upon C. So here we have C. Now Laplace transform of second equation will be we were having of third equation, sorry. Third equation will be R I1 S. So number these equation as 4, 5 and 6. So these three equations are the Laplace transforms of V0 S and VIS. Now we will get the ratio of V0 S and VIS by solving these equations. So first we will solve them and find the value. Now earlier we have get that I was equals to I1 plus I2. So if we take Laplace transform of this equation then we will get Is equals to I1s plus I2s. Also we have obtained that I1t was equal to V0t by R. So if we take I Laplace transform of I1t, so it will be I1s equals to V0s by R. So we have this as an equation, we have this as an equation, and now the value of I2s, I2t, we know that it is equals to C dV0t by dt. So I2s will be equals to, if we put its value, then it will be S C V naught S. So we have got these three values also. So we have to just put the values of I1s, I2s, and Is so that we can get the equations in terms of only V naught S and Vis. So first solve this fourth equation s l i s so i s we are putting the value of it as i1 s plus i2 s so s l i is i1 s plus i2 s then plus r I1s is given by V0s by R. So let's put it. Or from here also we can get that R I1s is V0s itself. So we can replace it by V0s. Now VIS it is. This is V0s. We put it first. Then plus. S L. Now putting value of I one S as V naught S by R plus I two S S V S C V naught S. So putting value of I two S, it will be S C. From here it is S C V naught S. So we have got a equation in which we have V I S and V naught S. So we have to just find the ratio of V naught S and V I S.
vis will be equal to v not s is present in all the three terms so it can be taken as common first we have 1 plus when this s is multiplied inside then it will be s square c and l will be multiplied inside so this is the equation which we have find out now just take the ratio of it So the ratio of V0 and VIS is given by this equation. In this equation, you can take this L by R as the time constant T1 and this C LC as T2. Okay, so you can substitute its value in it if you wish. So this is the transfer function of the electrical circuit and in this way you can find out it. I hope you have understood it clearly. Thank you.